Hi, I'm Tony Morgan of the Masterful Engineer Program and today's ball what we're looking at is a Heatline Viso 24. So the problem today is no hot water and also the boil is leaking. You can see it dripping from the bottom. So we're going to look inside and see where the leak is coming from. So you can see the water dripping is coming from the pressure leaf valve sorry the pressure gauge connection which connects to the pressure leaf valve you can see it dripping down and it's also leaking all over the hot water flow sensor so that's the reason why they get no hot water that causes all damage by the leak so we're going to have to repair the leak and the flow sensor so the leak basically is because of that not as i said on the pressure gauge tube it was just loose, just hand tight, so I'm just going to tighten it back up like that. And you can see the leak has now stopped dropping down onto the flow sensor. So that part was quite simple to do. So to take out the flow turbine, which is this part down here, it's hard to see at the back there. We're going to have to remove the gas valve in order to do this. So it's going to be a bit of an involved job. So that's what we're going to do next. So, I'm going to turn the gas off here. We've got to remove these two screws underneath. Break that connection. And inside, we've got to remove these wires here off of the module reg. That, the main feed to the gas valve. and. This pipe will have to be removed as well in order to remove the gas valve so we can get access to the flow turbine. Right, you need this tool. Um, I've mentioned this um, in a tools video. This ratchet screwdriver with a star bolt connection. So get on the screws at the bottom. So you loosen that one and the same with the other one so then the two will come out so loosen the connection here and on the top of the gas bell just spin this round and just pull it out and just put it to one side so you can then lift the gas valve up and out so I've pulled the gas valve out disconnect that connection just got to pull this off for the earth and then the gas valve's out right next I'm gonna Turn off the cold water inlet. So I'm going to shut that one up there. And then open a hot tap, make sure there's nothing coming out. So you now can see the flow turbine and the sensor here. So we're going to pull that off here. And we've got to screw that out of that body. And move it forward and take all this out and replace the flow turbine so that's what we're going to do next just a word of caution i've turned off the main stop tap as well just as a precaution because on another job um, we found that the water hot water cold well the cold water inlet was piped the wrong way so though i turned off the blue tap which you've seen the done previously to verify the hot water was shut off it was coming the wrong way and um, made a bit of a flood. So I've turned off the cold water as a precaution. So I'd suggest you do that yourself if you're doing this job. Right, so I'm gonna get the adjustable span on there, on the head. You can see it's very awkward and tight for space. And just screw that out until it comes out. So yeah, I've just unscrewed it and then just pull it out to get it all coming out and then it's out. So before um, I put this back in, the new one in, just a word of caution, you can see two little washers, they go in like this, that one goes first, then that. And then that goes on the end. Then that'll go into the housing. 
Just a quick tip, um, what I've done, this is the picture inside the valve, the housing. And um, you can see there, it's already got the this like liner on. So when I screwed in the, the new one, it won't go in enough. So I pulled it back out and I took a picture. So I've took that off, that's the new one. And that's still in the body, so you can take that out and screw in the new flow turbine because it, that is pushing it out because it's like doubling the size, so you don't need your one on. So that's just a quick tip. So this is the, um, the sensor itself. That's the old one, so I'm going to pull that out of there. So I'm just attaching this to the new one now. So let's go. Instant, I dried it off with a hair dryer, so it's okay. And we're going to clip it on inside here, like that. So, we're going to put the gas valve back, um, we're going to replace the washers on here so we can get rid of that one. Replace it with one of these, same with the bottom, and the same with the top one. So, put new washers on and then ch check it for soundness and um, we'll put some leak detection spray on the um, connection and then run the boiler. Just sprayed some leak detection on it and that's looking alright. So I'll be turning the boiler on and testing out water. Okay so we've turned it on now, everything's all running on hot water since it's fired up. Heating's off and it's on hot water only. So it's doing a job, so that, that's all complete and everything is done. So that's it now, everything's all complete. So make sure you do any final safety checks. Make sure you clean up when you're in, when you're leaving the customer's premises. Make sure everything's clean. So thank you for watching.